In this video, I'm going to show you how to model a cardboard tear strip. I saw this message on my Discord server and I wanted to give it a try. So here it is, let's get started. Let's add a plane, subdivide it once. You can select this vertex, pull it downwards, select this edge, do the same. Mirror, let's add a loop, Control R, select this edge, enable the magnet over here, select this axis, and pull the edge downward to make this edge loop flat. Mirror to the other side. Let's add another loop. Select the knife tool, press shift and left click. And you can click on this vertex, enter. I'm gonna add a loop in this area to get a diamond polygon. I'm going to move it like this. Mirror. I'm going to add an array modifier. You can click on merge to make sure that these vertices are merged together. Okay. I'm going to increase the number of copies. Let's add, let's say, 10 copies. Apply. Control A. I'm going to select these vertices. Push them to the right a little bit, like this. Mirror to the other side. Select these edges, E, Y to extrude, S, Y, 0 to flatten everything. You can remove these edges. Like this. I'm going to add a loop there. Connect. There. Connect. You can connect these two together to get a diamond polygon. Same in this area. Add a loop there. Connect. Diamond polygon. Add a loop. Connect. Diamond polygon. And add a loop there and connect. Okay, so now we have all quads. Now, to be able to select everything more easily, I'm going to add seams. So let's select these edges. Like this, right click, mark seam. Same there. And same there, mark seam. Mirror to the other side. I'm also going to push these four edges to the left to make this area flat. Okay. Now, if I want this area to be able to be bent, what I can do is to add more geometry. So I'm going to add two loops there, 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 there. Okay, so now to get roughly the same space between the edges, I'm going to select these. Right click loop tools space and repeat everything at the bottom and everywhere. Okay, so now we have roughly the same polygon density everywhere. So let's select this loop E, Y to extrude on the Y axis. Let's add, let's say four loops mirror to the other side. I'm going to select this area by pressing L, P to separate by selection. I'm going to isolate it, Shift H. Let's extrude the faces downward a little bit, not too much. Go to select, select sharp edges. I would like this edge to be selected as well everywhere. So I'm just going to decrease the sharpness value until it gets selected. Control B to bevel. You can press C to clamp the overlapping. And don't forget to set the meter outer to arc. By default, it's set to sharp. So set it to arc. And now I have to connect these vertices together. So let's do that everywhere. Press J, J, J. 
mirror to the other side. Okay, so now you can add a subdivision surface modifier. Let's add a mirror modifier on the z-axis. Apply it, control A. Let's do the same for this outer part. Select all the faces, extrude downward. Enable the snapping button to snap it to the bottom of this piece. Shift H to isolate it. I'm going to remove one half of the model. Remove, select the sharp edges, Control B to bevel, press C to clamp the overlapping, M merge by distance. Connect these vertices. Like this. Like this. Like this. Okay, perfect. For this area, I have two ways to fix that. The first one is to create something like this. Okay, so as you can see, I created two diamond polygons. This method works well, but I'm going to show you another one. So let's press Ctrl Z. I'm going to grab my knife tool. I'm going to draw a straight line like this, and I'm going to click on this vertex. Let's do the same there, like this. You can select this edge, remove it, and press GG. All right. And if I subdivide my mesh, as you can see, it's working perfectly as well. So I'm going to use this method. Let's do the same there. Connect. Press A to select all the faces. Then press Alt J to turn the triangles into quads and increase the max shape angle. So now you have to select these vertices. Press G, Y and snap onto this vertex. All right, perfect. And now we need to fix this area. So it's not very hard to do. I'm going to select this vertex and this one J to join. I'm going to remove this edge, grab the knife tool, click on this vertex, shift to snap the knife tool at the center of this edge, click, then create a triangle, select this edge, control R to add a vertex, and connect these two vertices together. And now we have a diamond polygon. So what you can do is to move this one a little bit like this, and let's repeat this everywhere. What you can do is to select these, 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 and remove. Select this, Shift D to duplicate, P, separate by selection, origin to geometry, G, X, and snap onto this vertex. Let's do the same. Shift D, G, X, snap onto this vertex. And let's do that one more time. Shift D, G, X, and snap onto this vertex. Okay, so now we can select everything. Control J to join. Select all the vertices, M, merge by distance. Okay, so now if I enable my subdivision surface modifier, everything has been connected properly. Select this, origin to geometry, add a mirror modifier on the z-axis. Apply it, control A. Okay, alt H to unhide everything. And I'm going to mirror this area at the bottom. So to do that, I'm going to change my pivot point to 3D cursor, Shift D to duplicate, S, Y, minus 1, select all the faces, 
Shift N to flip the normals. Select both parts. Ctrl J to join. And there you go. You have your perfect shape. Okay, let's put that at the center of the world. So origin to geometry, shift S, selection to cursor. And let's do the same for this. Shift S, selection to cursor. Perfect. Now, if I want to bend this area, what I can do is to add an empty like this. I can select this and add a simple deform modifier, set it to bend, select the empty as the origin, set the axis to Y, select the empty, R, Y minus 90 degrees. I'm going to, let's say, select these vertices. I'm going to assign them into a vertex group. So click on this little plus, click on assign, go back to the modifier, click on restrictions and set the vertex group. So now only this area has been affected by the modifier. You can increase or decrease this value. And as you can see, I can bend my model very easily and the result is very smooth. So that's it for today's video. I hope you liked it. If you did, please comment, like, and subscribe. It helps the channel. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.